Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Pat. I'm Brad. And I'm Craig. We are the band Chiodos, and we are here at the Pure Volume headquarters in Hollywood, California, here to answer some of your guys' questions that you sent in. Maria Fuentes says, what's the meaning behind the new album? That's it? The meaning behind the whole album at once? The whole album. It's not really like a conceptual album, Maria. Um, like it's not a concept album, but um, I guess if you had to try and summarize it quickly, lyrically, it would be about kind of the, the lessons that um, that I've basically learned over the past like two years. Um, and outside perspective, it would be a bit more the lessons that someone learns when they're when they've figured out who it is that they want to be, when they finally figured out who it is that they are, and they're working towards that next step. Um, so I think that that's pretty much what the record is. Each song is kind of a different uh, picture of a lesson. Monica Munster. Asks, that's not a real name. Yeah, Monica Munster. <laughs> that's not yeah. a real name. What and how do you get inspired or motivated when you are about to write a song? That's tough. I mean, like everything inspires me. I, yeah. I assume for every song. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, every everything is. Uh, it's not know. something that you plan. Yeah. Right. Just, like it's like like planning when you're gonna go to the bathroom. It just hits you. Right. And all of a sudden, and yeah. if you don't go, then you're not gonna get the result that you want. It varies from instrument to instrument too, you know. And like sometimes when you're looking to write a new riff, like you dig for inspiration from like whether it be movies or or like a, a concept that you want to drive yourself towards mm -hmm. and same thing lyrically as, as well but a lot of the times like like you said the best stuff just pops in your head out of nowhere and, and you can create your own vision for it from there. From Frank P, what is your favorite Chiota song and why? Right now I'd say Bevis for me. Ooh. What's the bold title? Bevis Bold. <laughs> no, no pet names. Yeah. If we went pet names, then people's minds would be blown because they are nothing like. <laughs> yeah. You think our you think our song titles are ridiculous? You should hear the pet names and then see the 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 actual song title compare. Oh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's... I would say that my favorite right now is probably why the monsters matter. Cass Lazariva. Sure. What would you consider the most significant thing you have learned from being in Chiodos? Man, I've learned so many things from being in Chiodos. I do not know. Someone else start. I don't even know. Wow. I would okay. say for me, um, learning how to work together for people and compromise and uh, learning how to uh, work for the better good of the group, just getting along with not just these guys too, you have to. Yeah, I mean, there's you, this is like the people that you see, but there's a million people behind the scenes working just as hard as we do, if not harder. I kind of coincides with uh, Pat's because I think that's like one of the, the biggest things that we all have learned, but um, just like having patience, especially like right now at this exact period, just like releasing albums and releasing tours and, and putting together the next plans for your life uh, has taught us a lot of patience and, and that ties in with working with each other as well and, and just uh, being selfless and, and, and taking a step back sometimes. Mine, mine's a combination of all of it. Combine that with purpose, you know? Like, um, yeah, music's given me a reason to, to get out of bed in the morning, and like, uh, Chiodos has shown me that, um, that I can exist solely on that purpose, and that it, it'll be there for me when other things in my life are, aren't, you know? And, uh, yeah, it's just shown me that I can, I can rely and trust on, uh, in, in music. Yeah. 